Bill Finger and Bob Kane worked on the Batman image until both of them were satisfied. They, they ditched the wings eventually, and they, they developed this scalloped cape, a mask instead of a cowl, and the gauntlets, so... Batman wouldn't leave any fingerprints, Natch. Also, the athleticism. My idea, said Keane, was to have Batman be a combination of Douglas Fairbanks, Sherlock Holmes, The Shadow, and Doc Savage as well. And the Batman premiered in Detective Comics number 27 in June of 1939. It was an episode called The Case of the Chemical Syndicate. Batman Comics made its debut in the spring of 1940, and Batman was on his way. As the series developed, the writers gave the Cape Crusader the arch villains that he had to deal with, and most of them proved to be popular with the public. They were, of course, the aforementioned Joker, Catwoman, Riddler, two faces in there. And the Batman figure came into a sharper focus eventually. Jerry Robinson joined the DC staff in December of 39, and Batman, anatomically speaking, was stronger than ever. Units for a new story of special attempt armed robbery of a grocery. To the Batmobile. Let's go. 